All right, so let's talk about the economic efficiency of monopolistic competition. Uh, we have said previously, and we're just going to review right now, so this is a nice summary that you can put in your notes, is that price takers are efficient. The reason price takers are efficient is because they take the price given to them by the overall industry market, which is determined by equilibrium price. And when a market is at equilibrium price, there is no dead weight loss. Uh, and therefore, price takers, uh, like perfect competition, are efficient, uh, economically efficient uh, in terms of overall society. But that price setters um, are inefficient. And let's recall why are price setters economically inefficient. It's because price setters have a downward sloping demand curve. And when you have a downward sloping demand curve and you are able to set your own price, you're going to set it according to the profit maximizing quantity. And the profit maximizing quantity usually winds up being lower than equilibrium quantity, which usually results pretty much in a, a price that is higher than equilibrium price. And because the price is not equilibrium, it results in a deadweight loss in the market and dead weight loss is our, uh, that is our metric, that is our determiner of whether a market is economically efficient or not. And so because there is a dead weight loss in a market where there, the seller is a price setter, uh, that means that price setters uh, generally result in economic inefficiency in the market, okay? And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look back to our comparison between perfect competition and monopolistic competition, and we're going to see that there is indeed a deadweight loss in the monopolistic competition market structure. So I want to go back right now just for a, a few minutes, and I want to look at a circumstance from the previous segment when we talked about monopolistic competition in the short run, okay? And what we did was we compared monopolistic competition to perfect competition, right? And what we did was we learned that because monopolistic competition has a downward sloping demand curve, they are price setters. They can charge a higher price and they can produce a smaller quantity that is, uh, that is better for them earning profits, right? And so what we're talking about now, right, is, e is efficiency of markets. And what we said is, and I'm about to prove to you, is that monopolistic competition is a less efficient market structure from a normative definition of efficiency. It's perfectly efficient for the company itself. For the firm, it's very efficient because to them, efficiency means earning the highest profit, okay? But for society, there is a deadweight loss in monopolistic competition. And remember, we're defining efficiency of a market based on whether there is a deadweight loss. And all I want to point out to you here is this, is notice that at the profit maximizing quantity, right? That if we take the profit maximizing quantity up to the demand curve and remember that the marginal cost curve is the supply curve, right? In that particular industry. And therefore, this actually should be the price which is lower than the profit maximizing price. But because the because the monopolistic competitor is charging a higher price, you can see here that there is a triangle that is above the supply curve, below the demand curve, and to the left, you know, we've got this higher, this higher price with a lower quantity, and what you're seeing here is a deadweight loss, D-W-L. You're seeing a deadweight loss in the market for a monopolistic competitor. So because the monopolistic competitor is able to charge a higher price, and by the way, charging a higher price gives them more producer surplus. If we go here down to the supply curve up to the price, they have a much larger producer surplus and consumer surplus is a much smaller triangle below the demand curve but above the price curve consumer surplus is much smaller. And so what the monopolistic competitor is doing is 
introducing a dead weight loss by taking away monopoly profits and providing the consumers with less consumer surplus. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to make a comparison between monopolistic competition and monopoly. Okay, so we just previously, in the previous lesson we had, our video, we had uh, seen a comparison between monopolistic competition and perfect competition. Now we're going to compare for, the, for understanding efficiency, we're going to understand the difference between monopolistic competition uh, and monopoly. Uh, so monopolistic competition we've already seen is less efficient than perfect competition. Another way of saying that it is less efficient is to say that it is more inefficient. Now you may not like the phrase more inefficient, uh, but that's another way of understanding it. When it comes to inefficiency, economic inefficiency, uh, monopolistic competition has more of that, more of that problem than perfect competition has. But when we compare monopolistic competition to monopoly, monopolistic competition is actually more efficient than monopoly. Or another way of saying it is monopolistic competition is less inefficient. Monopoly has the most inefficiency. Why? Because they have the most market power. They have the most ability to set their own price. Okay. So if we do this comparison down here graphically between monopolistic competition and monopoly, you can see that monopolistic competition has a downward sloping demand curve and a steeper marginal revenue curve than its demand curve. But if we go over here to monopoly, monopoly has a much steeper demand curve and an even steeper marginal revenue curve. And so if we go ahead and do this um, you know, profit maximizing quantity thing, on monopolistic competition, where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, okay, now understand these both have the same marginal cost curve. We have a common or a similar cost structure between the monopolistic competition and the monopoly in this example. Uh, but look, where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost, that's going to determine our profit maximizing quantity. And then when we go up to the, to the demand curve and come over to identify the price, okay, I didn't quite go sideways there. Let's make that a little more horizontal. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. I want you to look at the dead weight loss here. Here is the dead weight loss produced by monopolistic competition. Okay. Now let's come over here to monopoly. Here's where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. You'll notice this. Okay. Remember that the marginal cost curve is essentially of uh, the supply curve, right? Now for monopoly, it's the supply curve for the whole industry. And now look at that difference in, in equilibrium quantity versus profit maximizing quantity. That's a pretty big difference right there, profit maximizing. But over here, you can see that the equilibrium quantity, even though the profit maximizing quantity is smaller, we have a larger gap in the monopoly than we have in monopolistic competition. That's because monopolistic competition has a lot of similarities with perfect competition and so it shares some of that efficiency. But because monopolistic competition has a lot in common with monopoly, namely a downward sloping demand curve, it also shares some of the inefficiency of monopoly. So monopolistic competition has some of the efficiency of perfect competition and some of the inefficiency of monopoly. But look here, if we go up to the demand curve now, come over, you can see there's the price. That's a profit maximizing price. And you can see that the increase in price is much greater from equilibrium price in a monopoly than it is in monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition can't get away with a, with a much larger increase in price over equilibrium. But monopoly does have a much larger increase in price. And what it results in, here's what I wanted to point out, is look at how large this dead weight loss is compared to this dead weight loss. And the only difference between this graph and this graph is the fact that we gave this graph a larger uh, or a higher sloping demand curve. And what I'll do is, what I'll try to do is I'll try and show you, if I can, a graphic of a circumstance where the, the steeper the demand curve, the larger the dead weight loss becomes. And the flatter the demand curve, the smaller the dead weight loss becomes. And therefore, 
a flatter demand curve gives you less inefficiency and a steeper demand curve gives you more inefficiency in the market. Okay, And so mainly what you need to understand is that monopolistic competition uh, gives you more deadweight loss than perfect competition, but less deadweight loss than monopoly.